guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and another Sims 4 house tour. This is actually going to be an apartment tour and it's actually going to be two apartments. Two for the price of one today? Yes. That is because we have recently remodeled a couple of the apartments in San Mishuno? <laughs> Gosh. Don't look at me. In the city. We have recently remodeled two apartments for Sims in our Let's Play the Eden Cho series. The apartments, spoiler, are going to be for our two characters, Bon and Jamie Eden. They're going to be in this building right here because it has two apartments across the hall from each other. And that's where our boy and girl twin are going to live. Mm -hmm. And I, mean, I think it's a good location. It's mm -hmm. really near the water. There's right near this big square, which has lots of things going on. There's a bowling alley there. Which I placed, yeah. I think next door, what's that one? I think that's karaoke. The karaoke bar. Or... I could be wrong, whatever. But also they've probably got some relatively cheap rent because suddenly to one of the apartments they overlook this a train. A train. I mean it's which close overlooks a highway. I mean if this is a station, it's close to the station, which is actually That's really good. Yeah. But it's gonna be really loud and yeah, it's next to this freeway I would call it, not a highway. Yeah. First yeah. time out in the world, as not a student, makes sense that you live right next to the freeway. Look at that view, though. That's amazing. And it's cool how the train goes underneath. Under. Yeah. Yes. And also because one of our Sims is an aspiring chef, so the Spice Festival, I think, frequently happens here, and that is going to be a source of inspiration for him, we hope. So let's check out his apartment first. It's, like I said, on this floor. It's a remodeled version of the apartment that was here to begin with. I've kept the wall color, I've kept like the curtains, but basically everything else is different. So let's go ahead and take a gander inside. The front door obviously is over here. That's a thing that you cannot move when you remodel these apartments, but I've made do. Here we've got a little shelf and a place to put shoes and coat and all of that. Cute. And as you walk in, you immediately see the kitchen area, which is very important for our Sim, who is a chef, because he needs lots of space to do his chef work. <laughs> He's got an island here, which I built out of these countertops, which come from the Parenthood pack, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, yeah, I was saying it looks pretty new. I like it. I like all that wood. Yeah. A wooden refrigerator as well, it looks like. Just as for the color tone, Just like it matches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I went for a subway brick. Cool. Yeah, or subway Always tile. Looks good. Sorry. Yeah, it's very trendy for kitchens nowadays. He's got two upper cabinets because that's all he can get in the small space <laughs> of an apartment. But I think he's done well utilizing the space. There's no dishwasher, unfortunately, so he's got just the dish drying rack. But <laughs> he'll um, manage. He's also got a pile of cooking books over there. Yes, that's pretty books. cool. And as you swing over here, you can see <laughs> that this is the rest of the living room. So again, space is at a premium because it's an apartment in the city. But what I like about these ones is that it comes with this bay window kind of That's area. Nice. Yeah, it's really nice. And because Jamie is an aspiring cook, he wants to cook for people. So he's got a big old farmhouse table over here Very with nice. space for six sims to come and enjoy dinner parties and whatnot. Jamie is also a musician, so he's got a guitar here next to his sofa. The sofa, I'm going to say, is like a flea market find. Yeah, okay. The coffee table, I'm going to say, is also a flea market find because it's mid-century modern. This comes from the bowling pack. Maybe even the couch comes from the bowling pack, I'm not right. sure. But yeah, either way, I thought that like the colorfulness of the furniture would match well with Jamie's personality. He's a very outgoing kind of dude. He likes to have people around. He likes to party. So give him furniture that like matches his personality. Yeah, and also I think not concentrate too much of his funds on the furniture itself. Yeah. Concentrate it on the kitchen and also that really nice big TV. Mm. It's Those not so big. Product. It's not that It's big. not the biggest one you can get, but, <laughs> you know, a guy needs his TV. Yeah. And he's got, like, wall hangings. Oh, I should point out the mason jars overhead. I've got this in Bond's apartment as well, but I like that these mason jar lamps give that sense of uh, a little more down home, a little more, you know, cost effective kind of decoration. Yeah. So that is the open area, living, dining, and kitchen. And then there's a small hallway down which Jamie has got some of his athletic gear. I've kept the walls up just so that we can see the decorations on the wall, but like he's got a signed basketball jersey he's cool. got old skateboards <laughs> he's got 
a signed poster for soccer or football, as some might call it. So yeah, that's in keeping with his personality as well. And then there's this bathroom. It's sort of set Seems out. Seems good. Yeah. Yeah. What more does he need? He's got a nice big sink area. Yeah. A toilet and shower and then a little bit of extra storage space. It's bigger than many apartments that I've seen or lived in. So yes. he's doing fine. He is doing well. And I don't know if it's a spoiler to say, but he might not be living in this apartment all by himself for very long. <laughs> Down here is the one bedroom, so if he were to have somebody living in the apartment with him, he would be sharing it. And it's decorated in sort of darker colors, like darker blue, black, gray, that kind of thing. Yeah, and got a bit of a masculine vibe to it, I guess. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but also, I think uh, whoever would be living in the apartment with him is cool with that design yeah. as well. So I basically, think it looks nice. yeah, the bed is tucked away in this kind of inset area here, which I think was like perfectly sized, you know, for mm -hmm. the hallway and the bathroom on the other side. And there's a bit of art over it. And then over here, we've got Jamie's and maybe somebody's dresser <laughs> and closet with a bit of sea art there, inspired by the fact that they've got this, you know, uh, view of the bridge out from their living room there. And... Then there's this desk with a computer for Jamie and whoever. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So before we head over to the second apartment, what are the traits of this apartment? That's a good question. Thank you for asking because I was going to forget. The traits are that it's got a romantic aura. Ooh. That yeah. might help depending on who he's living with. Mm -hmm. And it's got a chef's kitchen. <laughs> so food prepared will That's be cool. you know, better. And a party vibe as well. So that any huh. parties and social events Jamie holds, hopefully he'll be able to reach the goals that are necessary in order to make the parties a success. Because he is a sociable fellow, so that's really going to help him. Yeah. Cool. Let's now check out the other apartment. Okay, here is our second apartment, which is directly across the hall from Jamie's. This apartment is going to be for Jamie's twin sister, Bon. And what we've gone for here is a decorating scheme that matches more of her personality, which is a bit calmer than Jamie's. Yes. Yeah. So a bit less professional in the kitchen. This seems very uh, country farmhouse. Yes. Looks like marble countertops. I really like that pastel blue. Well, the countertops, wood. the cabinets and counters are the same as Jamie's. They oh, are just a different yeah, color. Has yeah, such a big effect. Color. Exactly. Yeah. It's really nice. I think I love this kind of sky blue or light mm -hmm. blue or duck egg blue, whatever you want to call it with the, as you said, marble or maybe granite countertops. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I think they're oh, nice. Maybe we should go with that color in our own house. We've been talking about it, yeah. <laughs> um, she also has an island. She's not going to cook that much, probably, but I just, like, kind of really fell in love with the idea of having, you know, an island countertop in these tiny city apartments. And her living space is configured a little bit differently from Jamie's, so the counter and all that is different. It's because her apartment is slightly wider. She's got like one more yeah. window, you know, space for one more window than Jamie has. Now in the bay area, I've got her dining table. This is sort of like a reclaimed wood drafting table. Wow, why do I have two chairs blocked she's there? Got, uh, That's super weird. <laughs> anyway, and she's got mix and match chairs which are i wouldn't say flea market finds and uh -huh. you know have been repainted and all of that she's got a lovely rug under all of that so the color scheme here as you can tell compared to jamie's is a little more muted and yes um, yeah a little a little bit more rustic overall yeah. the feel a little more homey mm -hmm. rather than modern which yeah. i think is nice but you still got the walls looking very chic and definitely feels like a lost style apartment yeah the walls are this like painted faded exposed brick. I know you don't like exposed brick in real life, but I really do. And it's I like scratchy. It. Eh, whatever. Why are you scratching the walls, you know? Well... She's got those mason jars that I alluded to before. She's got all these windows overlooking the <laughs> train and freeway. Yeah. She has a nice bookcase. I'm gonna probably put something personal on the very top, but just for now I wanted to leave that empty. But she's got like little additions to the bookcase as well. And this is her living room area. She's got... A small console table behind the sofa, which is a Chesterfield sofa. I really love mm -hmm. this style. 
and a matching armchair she's squeezed in there hopefully i haven't actually tested this apartment yet but hopefully there is room for her to like walk around if oh, there isn't yeah you this know, is larry between the chair and that shelf yeah, hopefully they can walk around hopefully i had put her shoe rack under there but then oh, realized that was, that was yeah too mm-hmm. much so her shoe rack has gone over here with this coat hanger thing and above the shelf which is i guess where she would put like her keys and stuff like that she's yeah. also got a mirror to check her face before she leaves the house and then oh i really love this square coffee table which i think comes from the parenthood pack you know in addition to those other countertops and she's got her desk and computer over here where she's got her mail maybe her bills cool. she's put her diploma up because she's really Very proud nice. of that yeah. yeah lots of plants throughout by the way because she's a scientist and so she's got a, she's got an interest in plants and things <laughs> she's got um, an interest in the transforming them into, into weird serums or yeah. chemicals or devices. Yeah, there were no plants in Jamie's apartment, no. if you notice, because I don't know that he's responsible enough to take care of plants. Although he might want to start growing plants one day to have his own herb garden, for instance. Yeah, but I'm not sure that we have that in no. ability. And um, also I see that Bon has a number of old computer bits and pieces because yes. she likes tinkering with things, she's very yes. good at fixing things, and... She's a scientist, practical Mm -hmm. scientist as well. A repair genius, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is her TV area. By the way, she's also got a picture of a planet. She she snapped that picture herself. (laughs) Maybe from her rocket ship, Yeah. yeah. So then we have a couple of doors. This door goes into the bathroom which you can see here, it's really, it's a lot smaller than Jamie's, but it has room for a sink, a toilet, and shower. Now, if you notice, I've actually cut a couple of windows in here because the bedroom, it only had one window, which is just not a lot of natural light. So I like the idea of a couple of windows, maybe so that some sun can transfer through the outside window of the bathroom. Mm. This actually used to be a two bedroom apartment, but I converted it back into a one bedroom. Yeah. It, well, like the second bedroom was just a really tiny one for kids, I think. Um, and I just converted it back into a one bedroom so that Bond could have it all to herself. So here is her bedroom. It's decorated in sort of bluish colors, <laughs> similar to Jamie's, but a bit lighter. Yeah, a little bit lighter. Yeah. And it feels a little bit smaller, I guess, because she's only got space for one. She could put another mm-hmm. nightstand there, but it's just got one nightstand for that bed. Yeah, well, That's I a wanted yoga to, mat. Yeah, I want to leave room for her yoga mat so that she could, you know, do that in the mornings. Uh, but as you can see, there's only this one window. And this is not even a nightstand. I think it's actually like some kind of uh end table or cabinet or something like that okay yeah but i thought it was cute because it was small and narrow so it fit yeah. really well in an apartment kind of context and it also has additional storage for her and she's got some posters up on the walls this by the way is an accent wall i did the same thing in jamie's apartment like the bed is set against a wall that's slightly different shade so it's an accent piece or accent wall and she's got a stand-up dresser with drawers here a little bamboo plant and then another dresser here for more clothes. She's got this uh, three-part mirror so that she can check out herself at full length. There's some makeup stuff and hair stuff on top of this dresser. It's a little beat up. Again, her furniture, I would say, comes from you know used or flea market kind of uh, sources. And then another poster picture of the universe in space. Yeah. Mm. I think these are both really lovely apartments. I think Bon and Jamie are very lucky both <laughs> to get such lovely apartments for their first time yeah. living on their own. Well, I think I think they got some parental help. They may well have done. <laughs> um, that's okay. They worked hard for several years in university, and I think they deserve... Like, they both got jobs while they were in school, so they also yeah. saved up for it. Well, they, these are rentals, so I think they can afford the rent, no problem. Yeah. But I I see them being in these apartments for maybe a while. You know, they're young adults and they want to enjoy the city. They're not quite ready to, like, give up these apartments. And let's say the apartments are rent controlled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's just say that. They certainly are. (laughs) So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tour of the apartments for Jamie and Bon Eden. Please feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims 4 on the way, including, hopefully, some episodes showing them living in the apartments and enjoying their new neighborhood. I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for watching.